Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope that you are doing fantastic. Today, we're gonna do a wish list slash anti-haul, will I buy it? One of those. So basically, I'm just gonna go to Trend Mood's page over on Instagram and we're gonna scroll through and see what is it that I want to buy and what is it that I don't want to buy. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Ashley and if you've been here before, well then welcome back. Before we get started, if you would, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It makes me so very happy and it gives you a chance to enter my monthly giveaways. All right, I'm opening up Trend Moods page and we are gonna see what there is in the world of makeup. Do I want it? Do I not want it? You know the deal. Okay, this is a relaunch, so we're not gonna go with that. All right, so the first thing I see is the Arthurine Palette, Volume 1 by Menagerie, Menagerie? Menagerie Cosmetics. Okay, so this is a blush palette. It has a little bear on the front. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Normally, I used to love blush palettes, okay? I used to get like all the NARS ones, everything that they would come out, Hourglass, any blush palette that was like really nice, I would go for it. But now that I more often than not use cream blushes, I just don't find myself wanting to buy blush palettes anymore. I actually talked about this in my most recent Get Ready With Me. I love blushes. They're like one thing that I will like buy so many blushes because I just think that they do so much and they can change your look so much. So I really love having a lot of blushes, but I just don't get enough use out of a blush palette to buy them anymore. So. This is gonna be a no for me, but it does look really cute. I've actually never bought anything from Menagerie Cosmetics. Have you? Let me know in the comments below if you've got anything from them. Do you like it? You not like it? Okay, all right, next up. These are more things revealed from the Kylie Summer Collection. It's sailor themed, which reminds me, do you guys remember the MAC Sailor Collection? Oh my God, I loved that collection so much because of the packaging. And I really love the packaging on this one. I love things that are nautical. I grew up going to the lake and the ocean. We had a boat, like I grew up on water. I absolutely love nautical themes, but I don't really like anything from Kylie Cosmetics. It's a lot of like, I think this one has like matte liquid lipstick, gloss, lashes. I don't know, for me, that's not something I go for. I don't really like liquid lipsticks at all, so I don't purchase them. I have given up <laughs> trying to purchase those. I don't use false lashes because I have extensions. And I don't know, I just don't think that I mean, maybe the shadow sticks, but the packaging on the shadow sticks doesn't look like anything to write home about. So I think I'm also gonna skip that. Oh my gosh, oh, there's an eyeshadow palette, but it's mostly glitters. It's a lot, a lot of pressed glitters. Yeah, not gonna be for me. I think I'm just gonna pass on that whole collection, but it does look really, really cute. So I can totally see why some folks would go for that. Oh, and the next thing is something that I really have been thinking about getting. It is the Trend Mood, which is, the, what is the name of the collection? The Sunflower Collection. I absolutely love sunflowers. My dad and I used to grow sunflowers when I was a kid growing up. We would always plant sunflowers together, and that was one of my favorite parts of summer was when those would bloom. I absolutely love sunflowers, and I also really like yellow mustard color shadows, so I've kind of been on the fence about maybe getting this. I have not ever ended up buying anything from ColourPop though, you guys. Does that make me crazy? I really wanted to pick up Sailor Moon, but then when it relaunched, I think I was like busy and not paying attention, so I didn't even buy the relaunch, which I really wanted to. I feel like so many of their collections I want just like sentimentally, like the Candyland one, I really wanted, but I didn't end up picking it up. And I wanted it because I love Candyland. My great aunt and I used to play Candyland together all the time when I was a little kid. So I don't know, it just has like a sentimental place for me. So I feel like a lot of times their collections, I want to get them just because of like the sentimental value um, more than like actually wanting the makeup. So this is one of those that it's like, I think it's more like sentimental because I love sunflowers, but I also do love yellow tones. So I don't know, I'm on the fence. It's a maybe. Oh my gosh, this looks really cool. This is the Fruits themed eyeshadow palettes from DD Signature. They have a Kiwi palette. Oh my gosh, lots of greens. If you're a fan of greens, this could be really cool. Oh my gosh, look at these swatches, beautiful. Then they have the Strawberry palette. 
Oh my gosh, lots of reds and purples. I like that pop of yellow in there too. I wouldn't use it, but I like it. It's very neon. Oh my God, these swatches are so beautiful. I love how they did them like as circles. That's so pretty. And then the last one is the orange palette, which probably would be, oh, no swatches of that. That would probably be the one that I would maybe most gravitate towards. Again, this is a brand I've never used, DD Signature. I don't think I'll be picking any of these up, but let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried anything from them. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is a pumpkin spice palette. Of course it's from Too Faced, of course it is. Um, ooh, so available now, the Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow and Melted Matte Lip Set. You can get it on HSN. Um, I think it's gonna be a no from me. I have bought most of their, like, you know, palettes that look like this, like the chocolate, the dark chocolate, the gingerbread I bought. I don't know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. I don't think I'm gonna go for it. I don't know, it's a little too gimmicky for me in this year of my life, I think. I just, you know, I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, this I want. Están listos. It's a new collection, the Spanglish collection from Alamar Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting to try this brand and I don't know, that looks kind of cute. So I think I definitely wanna try something from this. Are they selling brushes? Here's un show. Un show, that is so funny. ¿Cuál es tu show? My husband always asks my daughter that when she's like being dramatic. ¿Cuál es tu show? It is un show. Oh, I like that. So this is a cute palette. I like the names. I feel like I might just get it just to get it. And pero primero, primer. Ooh, I don't really buy eyeshadow primer, so I don't think I'll pick that up. But I think I wanna get the brush trio, definitely, and the palette just to have them, to try them out. It looks like something fun. And the price is right, $28 for the eyeshadow palette and $18 for the brush trio. So I won't feel too bad just getting them to kind of play around with. Um, I'm not sure they're colors I would use a ton, but yeah, I wanna try that out. I think it looks really cute. So I think I will get that. Oh my gosh, you guys, NARS is dropping a new foundation. So the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, a natural looking matte coverage that resists oxidation. Okay, I don't like mattes. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't love NARS foundation, which is crazy because I love the NARS uh, Radiant Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's my holy grail concealer. I have yet to find a foundation of theirs that I really like. I don't like Sheer Glow. I don't think that it is radiant, like skin luminous enough for me. It looks a little too matte, honestly, which I think is crazy because it's called Soft Glow. So you would think, or Sheer Glow. So you would think it would be, you know, kind of radiant. No, I don't find it to be radiant. I like the like All Hours. Is it called All Hours? Long wear. I'll put a picture of it up. There's one that I really like, but it makes my skin break out. So that's a no-go for me. So yeah, I think I'll definitely be skipping this one as well. I feel like this maybe should have been an anti-haul, but there have been a couple things I found that I am like either a maybe or do want. I'm gonna try to like look through and see if I can find something I definitely want. Why am I not that excited about anything right now, you guys? Oh, this I want. It is the new, oh my gosh, the new Red Supreme lipstick from Pat McGrath. Absolutely, I am going to buy this. It looks like it doesn't come out until fall winter. It's gonna be exclusively for Supreme New York. Yes, I will buy this. When it gets to fall and winter, I always like to at least maybe once a month attempt a red lip. I say attempt because there's a lot of work that goes into a red lip. When you're as fair as I am, you have to really make sure the edges are clean. So I have to take my time with a red lip. So I don't do it often, but when we get to fall and winter, I always like to have a nice red. So I definitely wanna try this. That That is something I will buy. We have added one more item to the wish list, So this is not completely an anti-haul. Okay, this is one I also saw. I've seen a lot of people talking about this one, the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes. I just don't trust Urban Decay that much anymore. I just, I have not been excited about anything from Urban Decay in so long. This doesn't do it for me either. It's like a lot of like glittery looking. It says eight prismatic shimmers, four mattes, infused with genuine tourmaline for good energy. It's gonna be a no from me. I just, I don't know what it is. It doesn't excite me. And I'm not someone that like sees a palette that's mostly glitters and it's like, oh yeah, let me get on that because for me, glitter gets everywhere and then it sticks on my face and it gets in my eye. I just, even good glitters, 
I have to really, really be in the mood to have some glitter going on. I like a nice shimmer. Glitter is a completely different story for me. So yeah, I'm gonna pass on this. I feel bad that this is like all passes, but it is what it is. You guys, I'm literally at this point just scrolling to find something that I want and I don't see anything else. Aww. Let's see, there's gotta be something in here that I want. Ah, okay, I did find one item that is actually in my cart on Sephora right now. So it's definitely on my wish list and I do know I'm gonna buy it. It is the new Laneige gummy bear, like their limited edition gummy bear flavor. I wanna pick up the balm and the lip sleeping mask because I love gummy bears and I love Laneige, Laneige. I don't know how to say it, but I love it. So this is already in my cart and I definitely wanna pick it up. So yeah, there's that. So there's another item I want, and right below that is another item that is also in my cart right now. I have the Rose Decadence eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath that is in my cart right now to buy, and I also have one of the lip liners and one of the Divinal lip shades, so I'm really excited. Lip shades, lip shines, one of the Divinal lip shines, I do wanna try one of those. I think they're almost all sold out but one color, so I think I just picked up whichever color wasn't sold out in my cart. I definitely want to try this collection. I have it in my cart. I just have been like lazy and so busy that I haven't had a chance to like look through everything and check out, but that is also on my wish list. So this was not a complete anti-haul. There are some items that I'm really wanting to pick up. I actually have a ton of items uh, in my cart on Sephora right now. I just feel like most of them are not new. And I also have so much new makeup that I'm wanting to try right now from Shantakai that I just picked up. Um, so I definitely have like a list of things I wanna get to. I just always like to make sure I have enough time to try things. All right, so that is it for today's anti-haul wish list. Will I buy it video? I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you like these kinds of videos, just kind of chit-chatting about new things that are coming out, checking it out. I would love to hear your thoughts about what you want to pick up from the items we talked about. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you can always chat with me in the comments or over on Instagram. You take care of yourself. Bye.